Welcome back everyone. Today's video is here to address an issue I encounter frequently. Tons of DMs and messages about inventory not opening or shops not working in QB Core. Here's the situation. On May 19th, 2023, the QB Core developers made significant updates to how the inventory system works within the framework. If you downloaded the QB Core framework after this date, you're likely using the new framework with updated inventory exports. However, if you're still using an old inventory system with the new framework scripts, you'll likely encounter errors. The first indication of this issue can be found in your server console, where you might see an error like, no such export load inventory and resource QB inventory. Even if this error doesn't show up immediately, trying to open a shop or store in QB core might result in another error. No such export create shop and resource QB inventory. These errors clearly indicate that you're using an old inventory system, which is no longer supported by the updated QB Core framework. While I don't recommend sticking with the old system, for those who are experienced and know what they're doing, I've created a GitHub repository containing the old QB Core framework files from just before May 19th, 2023. To use them, you'll need to download the files from the repository and replace the contents of your current QB folder with the downloaded files. Before doing so, Ensure that you delete the newer content in the QB folder to avoid conflicts. However, I strongly discourage using this approach as a long-term solution, as reverting to the old framework means you'll miss out on critical updates, improvements, and vulnerability fixes included in the newer versions. If your scripts rely on old inventory calls, a much better solution is to update those scripts to work with the new framework. To do this, visit the official QB core documentation and navigate to the QB Inventory section. The documentation provides updated exports like Load Inventory, Search, Add Item, Remove Item, and others. These updated exports can be used to rewrite your old scripts so they function correctly with the new framework. Additionally, you can check GitHub repositories that already implement the new inventory exports to learn from practical examples of how they are used. Updating your scripts will ensure your server remains compatible with the latest changes and stays secure against vulnerabilities. Unfortunately, I won't be able to assist with integrating the old inventory system into the newer framework, as it requires extensive reworking. However, I hope this video has helped clarify the issue and provided you with possible solutions. If you have any questions or need further guidance, feel free to reach out in the comments or on Discord. Thank you for watching and I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates. See you in the next video, and happy gaming! I'm thrilled to announce that Codeine has officially surpassed 7,000 members on Discord, making it one of the best 5M developers and server owners hubs. Fueled by this increase in member count, we've added developer AI bots to help fix code snippets for users facing issues. Moreover, Users can also create logos for their servers using our logo-creating AI bots. With support for all frameworks from thousands of developers, you'll also find all the necessary free items needed to start a simple roleplay server. So what's stopping you from joining? Join now!